G'day guys, welcome back to another video when you're off King here today. Hope you are fantastic because we're back with Fredbear and Friends Left to Rot. Back for one of our last videos on this game. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of other videos on this game because I love it. But let's try out Insane Mode, whatever the fuck it is. Test Room 2. What? Don't put me back in this. This is my least favorite one. Oh my god, fuck you. Why would you do this? Ah, fuck. Oh my god, it just happened to be this one out of all of them. The fuck? Power. Okay, that's insane. <laughs> that's annoying. I'm not going through that again. Okay, I want to do the different cutscenes again just because I can. I like them. I love this music. Welcome to the Fredbear Streaming Master Rebranding Concept for all chain locations. In this tape, you will be provided with the necessary information to complete the renovations of the show stage area. If you have any further questions about the replacement of the show, you can refer to page 104 of the employee manual. If you need an employee manual, refer to pages 206, 207, or 1093. First, you should test out the Fredbear and Bonnie show tapes before beginning the renovation process. Reviewing the tapes will ensure that the internal components of the characters will be able to be used in the renovation process. For further instructions on running the show tape, refer to page 65 of the employee manual. We will begin by removing cosmetics of the characters, starting with Fredbear. First is hat, hat tie, tie, and microphone. microphone. Head. He looks naked now. Arms. This looks awesome. And body piece. Next, Bonnie. First, their head and tie, Spring body. arms, and body piece. Now, you will begin to replace parts of the animatronics, starting once again with Fredbear. First, remove and replace Fredbear's mint upper endoskeleton with the structurally improved set that was provided by the manufacturers. Set the Freddy Fazbear body That's piece cool. where the Fredbear body piece once was. Place Freddy's arms on the respective sides. Place Freddy's head over the new endoskeleton head. And finally, correctly place his hat and bow tie. That's real great. Now, that's real we'll great. You sound really enthusiastic about that. First, remove and replace Bonnie's mid to upper endoskeleton with the structurally improved set that is provided by the manufacturers. Set the Bonnie piece where the original Bonnie piece once was. Place Bonnie's arms on the respective sides. Place Bonnie's head over the new endoskeleton head. Okay then. Now all that's left to do is to place the characters in their proper locations. Building updates and stage props will be covered in a future tape. Place Chica to Freddy's right. Remember, that's sure your entertainment I mean, may Foxy. request a certain Pirates arrangement Cove. if necessary. Installing Pirate's Cove will be covered in another tape. See? Congratulations, phase one of the rebranding process is now complete. Okay, cool. Um, I love this one. This one looks cool, this minigame, this cutscene. Oh, look how cool that looks. Hello there, today's lesson will be going over Springlock Suit Cleaning. Part of Fazbear Entertainment's motto is being clean with a bit of sheen. They really need to work on that one, but you know, safety and cleanliness comes first. So, first of all make sure that you have correctly separated the suit parts as shown in the diagram on page 124 of the employee menu. 
Make Done sure that. that you also have the parts laid out on a table. We should Done be that. able to easily clean the parts. Cleaning the parts is a simple task, really. Just start out by getting a can of our recently manufactured fat spray, which can slowly soak and sparkle the suit over the time span of about six hours, just in time for the next morning. Okay. So go ahead and start spraying the suit, making sure that no electronics were left inside of the suit after removal. Good job, rookie. In the next tape, we will be covering how to safely ice. Oh, and remember to smile. You're the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yes, I know. Thank you for reminding me. Um, and no, this one's one of my favorite ones as well, which is cool. Pizza. Uh, these tanks will provide you with much needed information on how to handle, slash climb into, slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maintenance can the fuck occur. Up. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound to you. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd-pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Okay. I don't like this part. This looks really realistic and cool. Uh, hello, hello! Uh, for oh, today's the lesson, head. we will be continuing our training mm, on that? proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Creepy. Why can't you just make these models look cooler? Like, put that effect on it that he puts on all of them. I mean, they look cool. I'm just meaning put the effect look on the cutscenes that you have. Like, that effect on them. Um, insane mode, do I really want to do that? I feel like getting another, I don't feel like doing that again, but I feel like, um, I, f I feel like doing that again, but I feel like getting another ending, which I'm going to do, try to do at least. Got to make this one a quick video, just because I can. How do you get up there in the first place? Shit, no, fuck. Hopefully I got that. What? Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, security puppet. I mean, fuck. <laughs> security. Whatever your name is, Fredbear, you're an asshole. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't even know how that guy got there in the first place. No, oh, fuck your eyes, turn on. 
Oh shit, the power. I forgot about that. I'm dead. Anyways. Uh, fuck, I need that ending. that happen? <laughs> what the fuck? There's only one ending. I tried to click that and it didn't work. And what? How did that even happen? That was so weird. That's weird. How did that even happen? I clicked on it and it didn't even... That, that's weird. That's a dumb one, sorry. Hi. Can you put stuff in? My head is a bit weird. It's gonna be the tragic end of the game, isn't it? Yep. Yep. The tragic ending. Is that like the only ending you can get? I tried getting the other ending and nothing happened, but okay. Okay. Fuck. 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 Actually, I thought I saw an Easter egg in this game, so I'm gonna play it. Oh, there. There, there, there. Fuck. There was an easter egg. I went through a wall. The fuck? 32 at the bottom. Okay. Weird. And there's no stuff in that. I don't even know. It's probably something in this insane mode, but I'll do that next time. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Neil Wolfgang is gone. Have a good one, guys, as always.